Hi, I'm Myla. Hi, I'm Beta. Welcome to the Sports Chatter Podcast. Today we will talk about recent news on a few different sports, such as football, basketball, and hockey. We will even be talking about injuries, player stats, and player player strategies. The first thing we're going to be talking about today is football scores. Did you watch the Packers vs. Cowboys game? Yes, yes I did. Can you believe the Packers beat the Cowboys 48-32? to Also, did you watch the Lions vs. Rams game? Yes, and can you believe the Lions won by only one point? Wow, that must have been nerve-wracking for the fans. Yeah, but we did win against Tampa Bay, so we are moving up in the playoffs. And of course, we must remember that Michigan won the national championship game. Go Blue! That's all we have for football. Moving on, we are going to be talking about a few NBA games. Did you see that the Denver Nuggets lost to the Philadelphia 76ers? The score was 121 to 126. No, I did not, but I did see that the Oklahoma City Thunder lost to the Los Angeles Lakers. The score was 105 to 112. Nice, but you know what was a good game? The Utah Jazz beating the Indiana Pacers. The score was 105 to 132. Wow, what a blowout. But did you know that the Detroit Pistons are tied for the worst losing streak? Nice. Yeah, that is crazy that they lost 28 whole basketball games. Moving on, the next sport here we have is hockey. Did you know that the Ducks lost to the Capitals? The score was 0-2. to two. No, but I did see that the Coyotes lost by one point to the Flames. The score was 2-3. to three. Wow, just like the Rams, they lost by one point. <laughs> so, Myla, what is your favorite sport? Basketball, how about you? Mine is track. Are you on a team for track? No, not right now, but I will try out for our school's track team next year. Are you on a team for basketball? Yes, I am. I play for two teams, one at center court for extra practice and one for Storm Elite. Wow, you must be busy. Yeah, I am always running from one place to another. The games and tournaments are both on Saturdays, and sometimes I have to miss one or the other. I hope I'm not that busy with track. Are there any other sports you like to watch and or play? I like to watch softball. I even used to play it, but now I just do track and cheer. I love watching football and basketball. I also like playing lacrosse, basketball, and volleyball. I like watching volleyball. Yeah. Next year, I will try out for the school volleyball team and maybe basketball, but I'm probably going to stick with Storm. That sounds fun, but do you know what was not fun? Getting hurt during a game. Oh, yeah. Did you see that Aaron Gordon on the Denver Nuggets got bit by his dog on Christmas Day after playing against the Golden State Warriors? And he had to sit out for two whole games. Oh, wow. Also, how Delshawn Phillips hurt his shoulders, so now his stats are questionable. I mean, that must be sad for him. Dang, that is sad. But did you know that Mark Andrews hurt his ankle back when he went against the Bengals? He said it happened from a hip drop tackle. Linebacker Logan Wilson used a hip drop tackle on him, resulting in his injury. Oh, well, I'm moving on because those injuries scare me. I have some questions for you. What's up? First, have you ever been to a hockey, football, or a basketball game? Yes, I love going to my brother's basketball games, and I have also been to a Chargers game and a Lions vs. Packers game. Wow. For the Lions vs. Packers game, was that one from this season? When I, no, I was around 8 or 10 when I went. Oh wow, it must have been fun. Yeah, it was, especially since the Lions won. Another question, who do you want to win the Super Bowl? I wanted the Lions and the Baltimore Ravens to go head to head, and I wanted the Lions to win. Nice, I wanted the Packers to win, but they won't even since they lost in the playoffs. I can't believe you're a Packers fan, but since they did lose in the playoffs, they are not going to be in the Super Bowl this year. 
Unfortunately, they did lose. I did want them to win, though. Boo, Packers, and go Lions. Moving on, we should talk about some stats. According to the ESPN website, NBA player Stephen Curry has 26.7 points per game, 4.9 assists per game, and and a 39.73-point percent rate. That is nice. Also, according to the SBN website, Jaden Ivey on the Detroit Pistons averages 17 points per game, three three rebounds, and six assists. Those are some nice stats, but you know who has some not-so-nice stats? It is Amari Bailey. The ESPN website shows he only averages 2.5 points per game and zero assists per game. Well, you're right. Those are not so pretty stats. He is only 19, so he will probably improve, but his stats aren't looking too great right now. A few other people with some rough stats are Taze Moron and Charlie Brown Jr. What team do they play for? Taz plays for the Portland Trailblazers and Charlie Brown Jr. plays for the New York Knicks. Oh, okay. Tomorrow, the Portland Trailblazers will be playing against the Houston Rockets at the Houston Rockets Stadium. Yeah, and one of my favorite basketball teams, the Golden State Warriors, will be going against the Atlanta Hawks at the Warriors Stadium. I am 100% staying up to watch that game. Yeah, I hope Golden State wins. Me too. I am an all-time fan of the Warriors. <clears throat> so, Milo, what is your least favorite teams? What That is hard, but I would have to say for basketball, it would be the Boston Celtics, and for football, it would be the Kansas City Chiefs. Nice. I was not expecting you to not like the Chiefs. Yeah, I think that the Chiefs are a bit overrated since they won the Super Bowl last year, um, and I don't want them to be a possible threat to the Lions. Who is your least favorite NBA player? I would have to say Nikola Jokic or Luka Doncic. How about you? My least favorite NBA player is Cherokee Parks. We should talk about some college basketball. All right, did you see the Brownie James college basketball team lost to the Sun Devils? The score was 67 to 82. Wow, I wonder if LeBron was in the stands. Me too. Also, did you hear that if Bronny gets drafted into the NBA, LeBron will, was going to switch teams to play with him? I did, but back to college basketball. Yeah? Did you see that the Texas Longhorns won against the Oklahoma Sooners? The score was 75-50. to 50. That must have been a good game to watch. Yeah. Also, the Wisconsin Badgers defeated the Minnesota Golden Golfers. Golfers. The score was 61 to 59. Wow, only a two point difference. Everyone had to be hyped up at the end. Yeah, I know I would have been. Did you see that the Duke Blue Devils beat the Louisville Cardinals? The score was 83 to 69. I did not see that. The Wolverines unfortunately lost to the Purdue Boilermakers. The score is 67-99. I really wanted the Wolverines to win, but you can't win every time. I don't like the Michigan Wolverines. I am a state fan, but the Houston Cougars beat the BYU Cougars. The score was 75-68. to Cougars versus Cougars. I mean, they have to be rivals. Yeah, even if the fans chanted Cougars, most likely no one would know which team they are chanting about. Also, they are rivals because of their history with the sports because they have the same name. Yeah, and also, you know how I was saying I wanted to try out for the school team? I think we should give tips on how to get better at volleyball for anyone. Here is one very important tip. 
don't compare your skills to others and maybe work on some conditioning to warm up and be ready. Yes, and you should always acknowledge your own mistakes and practice on improving them. Yes, you should work on communication skills so that way everyone on the team can be con- coordinated. For example, calling mine or guy will help your team who know who is hitting the ball and where it is. Even if it is your first time playing and you may not know what you are doing, always have a positive mindset. It will help you a lot and trust me on that one. I fully agree with you. Now you know some very important tips and tricks. So if you ever want to try out for volleyball, here are some quick tips. Most of these tips apply to other sports, such as having a positive mindset, acknowledging your mistakes and fixing them, working on communication skills, and not comparing your skills to others. That is very true. You should always have that in your mind when you are trying out or just just reminding yourself in a practice or a game. Moving, Moving on, we should talk about some strategies that professionals use. I know that basketball player LeBron James talks with his team, makes trustworthy teammates, so he has more communication with his team during a game. Victor Wembanyama uses his height to his advantage. He can use it to dunk, shoot layups, and even shoot right over his opponent's heads. He normally averages 24.8 points. He can also be really good at defense by using his height to his advantage. I know that Stephen Curry looks at the three front hooks to the rim to know that he needs to shoot just enough power and high enough to make his shots. Have you ever tried these strategies? I have used Steph Curry's strategy, but I think I need to practice it way more to become nearly as good as him. Also, for Victor Wimbanyama's strategy, I am way too short. But if I was tall, I would use it. Me too. He must be lucky to have such an advantage for defense and offense. Yeah, I think if most people were seven foot four, they would use it. Like Clay Thompson could use his height to his advantage. Of course. And also, many other people would like to be shorter because it could give them an advantage. Like what? Just like Stephen Curry, people could run around the defenders and they could almost never notice. Oh, I usually thought that being tall was the best advantage in a game. It is a good advantage, but it depends on how you use it. For example, if you were tall but weren't sure where you could shoot best or how to block a shot, it may not be easy, an easy advantage, unless you know how to use it. That makes sense, but because skill is very important, even if you only know the basics of a sport or sport or sports, it will be helpful. Absolutely, and if it is your first time, you can always ask a coach or even a teammate. Also, if you're pretty good at a sport, you could always give someone else advice. Even if you don't want to do any of these things, they're just suggestions that can help you get better and have a better bond with your team. This is all that we have for today's podcast. I hope you learned something new and that you enjoyed it. This is all that we have for Sports Chatter Podcast. Thanks for listening to today's podcast, and have a great day.